What is up? A welcome back. If you like to do it, build it, and make it, so do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're moving out, moving on up. Yeah. Moving somewhere else. Yes, yes. So we shared with you a couple of weeks ago that we had rented a new space where we can move all of our production, move our filming, and the painting, I guess paint station, which is other finished shipping. production. We have room for retail space up front too. It's pretty empty right now. We pretty got empty. one cool table in there right now, <laughs> all ready to go for the rest of its friends. But for this week, this week was move week. So we weren't able to fit in a project this week because we were too busy moving into the new space, warehouse, shop, workshop. We yeah. don't know what to call it. I yeah. tried calling it the K&G Labs, but Kim thinks it sounds too much like a meth lab. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're cooking up in here, but I'm not sure. Cooking up goodies. It's DIY. I'm not sure, you're, I'm not sure you cook up DIY, so. So. What do we call it? We, that is something we keep trying, we keep throwing out different things, and our family and friends are like, what are you doing? I was like, how did that one sound? <laughs> the, the warehouse? I what is saying, it? I Workshop? What is it? Main office? Corporate? Yeah. No. No. Enterprises. Nope. I don't. I don't know. The hangout. Right now, it's just called the space. Yeah, we're just calling <laughs> it the new space. The Eventually, it won't be new, so it'll be just be the space. The space. No. Go with that's, space. That's not either. I don't know what it is yet, but what, you guys can give us your comment below if you've got an idea yeah. of what we can call what it. What do we call <laughs> the new space? Well, with all of that said, we did not have time for a project. So what we will do is show you exactly what we did do this week. Yeah, we'll take you along our little move journey. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our friends and family and trick them into helping us. <laughs> Step two, and now we're gonna prep the space. First, we needed to know will everything fit and where is everything going to go before we have our friends and family start lugging this stuff around. We want to be able to tell or show them where it's going. I don't know if you guys know, but Garrett was a systems engineer prior to our DIY lifestyle. And so he is very adamant about making sure, all right, let's mark off the space. I'm pretty detail oriented too, so it doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So we get some chalk. And we're going to make sure everything fits. We're going to McDonaldize this thing. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so we went ahead and mapped everything out. So we should have the steps drawn all out. Everything looks like it's going to fit. So now we're going to clean the carpets and paint some of these walls. That's what we did on Sunday. My sister was like, I'm here to help. And so we were planning to paint one room, the office where we will do, well, Garrett will do his editing and where and I will work. Will do the, uh, paperworking <laughs> pay the bills pay and the so bills. we started there but she was like I'm here we've got people let's paint another room I was like okay well then our filming studio which is where we are right now needs a coat of paint so the walls were a dark gray and I think that's too dark for filming we need lots of light in here when you film so we painted the walls white we were very we productive on cleaned Sunday. all of the carpets we borrowed a friend's carpet cleaner and we cleaned all the carpets and they were uh, nasty. They were. There were a lot of snacks left on the carpet. A lot of grease and grime. I'm surprised we don't have furry friends Snackings. in here. <laughs> Step three, we're moving out. We're taking this show on the road, touring the country, or just moving 30 miles down the street. Yeah, it's, it's like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> We took inventory of the two rooms that we have. We're moving two main rooms for this first initial move. We're not moving shipping yet because the laser hasn't moved yet. So we needed to move our filming studio and our paint room. Two rooms should be pretty simple. I had Court look at a truck and she's like, here, I got you this 20 foot U-Haul that should hold a small two bedroom house or a three bedroom apartment. I was like, yeah, that is plenty. We have a lot of kids, so we thought moving would be easy. like. Into the truck, lickety split. Yes. That was not the case. Two hours, done, no we problem. Had, we had seven movers, one truck packer, and within 90 minutes the truck was full, so we had to go to the overflow trailer, and that filled up in like 10, 20 minutes. 
and we still didn't get it all. We still have the closet in our filming room is packed full of all that leftover filming supplies and there's a bathroom up there too and the closet in that bathroom is packed full of supplies. We still have more, more, more to move. Step four, time to move in. Moving in was a whole lot easier than moving yes. out. There's no stairs and two big bay doors. We backed the truck right up to the door and wheeled everything out and started to put it where it goes. Yeah, we were able to unload it in less than an hour. That was, that was the easy part of the day. That was the easy part. Then we had to put together all the tables, all of the chairs. We had to lay out all of the offices and everything where everything goes, the paint room, and those tables are so heavy. I don't feel like moving anything ever again. <laughs> yeah, I regret the two rooms we don't need a mover statement. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then the last thing we did is set up the studio, and here we are right now. As of right now, right. All we have are our lights and camera, this table put together, and that table put together. But our pegboard, I don't have my paints up yet. We have more to do. More to do. But we are got to move right along because step five, get ready for the craft show in two days we have a big craft show coming up we've never done it before it's new to us and it's a bigger one and uh we're not ready yeah so we have been prepping for this show because we know it's bigger we know we need more inventory we have about let's say prior to the move day i had half of what we needed so once we got everything in here the first thing we did was set up that paint room and i have started painting signs but luckily Again, we have a lot of great friends and family and thank you to all of you guys for helping us out because they have come in shifts to help me paint signs. We've had um, people come help us paint walls, help with the carpets, hang things, fix lights, fix light fixtures, fix outlets. I don't know, what have they done? They've swept, vacuumed, Well, and then like moved. I said, just to help me paint signs for the farmer's yeah, market, there have been, shifts. yeah, there have been shifts. Uh, one day my friend was here helping. She brought her mom and her daughter and then the next day Court was here helping me paint. We have been painting fools for the last couple of days, but I think we'll be ready. I'm excited to give you guys an update on our new farmers market next week. Step six to be continued. We are out of time for this week, but we will keep you guys posted of what's coming in and what's going on with the shop. We'll give you guys, I don't know, I don't know. How, how often would you like an update? I'm thinking like monthly or well, we've got some, things happen. Well, we've got some cool things being planned that we haven't even started yet. Yeah. We're going to add a new doorway. Um, these back two offices where we are are separated from the rest of the office space up front. So we're going to create a doorway there. We've never done that never before. Never made a doorway before. So I'm kind of excited to do that. And then we'll put a barn door up. Never made a barn door before. Yeah, I've always I've been wanting to do a barn door, but I have, literally have nowhere in my house that I can put a barn door. I mm -hmm. have no big wall where I could slide that thing open. So I'm really excited. I have two of them that I'm going to put in this space. Okay. And we're going to build an indoor door porch. Oh yeah. We're gonna build a roof and a porch for that front retail space and I can't wait to show you those projects. So they are coming I can't probably wait to over the out winter. Those projects. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're gonna be they're gonna be their own their own big effort. Well we are about out of time so if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show we will see you next week where we'll do it build it and make it again. And like we'll actually do it build it or make something this time. Yeah. We're gonna oh. Actually, oh, and don't forget, let us know what we call this new space down below. K and G what? K and G barn. Yeah, shack, somebody said barn. Ranch. K and G farmhouse. It's not farmhouse. a farmhouse. It's not a farmhouse. What is it? I don't know what, what it is. is. <laughs> what do we call it? We will see a you and next week. I'm I'm all balanced out this week. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. <laughs>